this is Joanna and I'm back today with another video. And today I'm using this stamp set from Mama Elephant and also the matching dies. And I'm starting out by creating my card base and I'm using Nina Solo White and my Marta Stewart mini scoring board. And this is going to be a top folding card. So I'm scoring it at five and a half. And then I'm using my Fiskars stamp press and my Memento ink to ink up the cute elephant. And I'm coloring him in with Copics, that's why I use Memento, that's a really good ink when you are using Copics. And I'm only using three shades of warm grey to color him in. I'm using W1, W3 and W5. And I'm just adding some, uh, I'm adding quite dark shadows because I want, uh, this card is going to be really simple. So I want the elephant to have a really big contrast in the shadows. So I just keep adding all of my greys until I'm satisfied with the result. So I'm going in with the lightest and then my mid-tone and then my darkest color to shade him. And then I'm just going the other way around to blend the colors together. And now I use the coordinating die to cut him out. And that's really easy. This image is quite easy to fussy cut as well, but I do love the coordinating dies. And here I'm creating my own stencil using a 3 inch punch. And I'm just using regular copy paper, so I can only use this once. But if you want a stencil uh, that you can use multiple times, you can use some acetate to create it. And I'm just holding it in place with my posi tape. And here I have my embossing paste. This is silver embossing paste and I just love this stuff. It's so shiny and uh, it's so beautiful. I love the end result. And I'm taping so an another stencil from Tim Holtz over my homemade stencil. And I'm just uh, smoothing out my embossing paste. And as you saw, I have another piece of copy paper underneath and that is just to, pr to protect my work surface. And I want the end result to be really smooth, so I'm trying to smooth this out uh, as good as I can with my palette knife. And then of course when you're using embossing paste it's really, really important to clean your tools. And I always clean the edge of my embossing jar because otherwise I have trouble opening it afterwards. So I just use the paper tissue to clean off the edges before I close it. And I will leave my card to dry, so the, emboss the embossing paste takes maybe like 30 minutes to dry. So I will start working on my sentiment. And I'm using my embossic, embossing medic powder bag. And this prevents the embossing powder to stick to uh, the cardstock, only to the Versa mark. And I'm picking up my sentiment with my Fisker stamp press, and then I will use my Versa mark to stamp the sentiment. And I'm using the grid lines on the Fisker stamp press and also on my work surface to line up the sentiment. And to match the silver embossing paste, I'm using some silver embossing powder from Hero Arts on my sentiment. And since I used that embossing body, none of the embossing powder sticks to the cardstock, only to the Versa mark. I just love that tool. And here I'm just uh, heat embossing my sentiment, so it's all silvery and shiny. And I'm just working the paper just a little bit to prevent any warping. And here my card is dry. So you can see that it's so shimmery, I just love the end result. And here I'm trying to, f I'm figuring out uh, how I want the card. So I'm using my scissors and I'm cutting a, a banner shape on one of the edges. And if you are interested in any of the supplies that I used in this video, they are linked in the YouTube description down below or over at my blog and you can find that address in the YouTube description as well. And here I'm uh, 
going to pop up my elephant and I'm using some 3M foam tape to do that. And the, this foam tape comes in a really big roll, so I just love that you can uh, <laughs> and you can cut it down to size, and it's the backing is so easy to peel off. I really love this foam tape. So I'm trying to uh, cut pieces, so all of the elephant will be popped up, because I am going to send this card through the mail. So I want the elephant to still be popped up when he arrives. And I will pop up the sentiment strip as well. So here I'm just using the grid lines again to make sure that the sentiment is straight. And then I've used my scissor to cut off the excess. And I will peel off all of the backings from the elephant. And I will adhere him in place. And then I use my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Jumper to round the edges, or the top edge actually. But I think the card is uh, is a little bit too big, so I'm just using my paper trimmer to cut it down just uh, uh, like half an inch from the top. And then I use my corner jumper again, and I think this balance of the card much better. So this was all for me today. So I hope that you liked it and that you got inspired. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.